Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I will show you how to make the best General Tsao chicken. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the video to the end. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. General Tso's chicken is a sweet and spicy deep-fried chicken dish that is very popular in American Chinese cuisine. This dish was named after Zhu Zongdang, Qing Dynasty statesman and military leader. And now let's get to the recipe. I got two pounds of chicken thighs, cleaned them from excess fat, Make sure to subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new videos. And cut it into bite-sized pieces, approximately 1 inch. For general sauce chicken, the best way to go is dark meat, which is chicken thighs. Place the chicken into the bowl and marinate it. Add 1 tablespoon of Chinese rice wine, 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, season it with some salt and white pepper. Cover with plastic wrap and pour it into the fridge for one hour, but ideally overnight. You want to marinate the chicken well. Take three garlic cloves, one and a half inch of peeled ginger, and mince everything fine. Transfer it into the bowl and pour it aside. Take one scallion and cut it. It will go for decoration. I will dredge the chicken in a cornstarch flour mixture. In a bowl combine half a cup of flour, Half a cup of cornstarch. If you have potato starch, you can substitute the cornstarch with it. Season it with some salt and white pepper. Mix it. And start dredging the chicken. Make sure to coat everything well. And you don't want to see it bold pieces. Place the dredged chicken on a sheet pan with wire rack. And now it's time to fry it. Bring the pot with oil to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. First I'm frying one piece of chicken as a tryout. To see if the chicken comes out properly, the oil temperature is right and cornstarch flour mixture not falling off. Fry this piece for 3 minutes and transfer into the sheet pan with a paper towel. Everything looks good. And now let's fry the rest of the chicken by batches. Make sure not to overload the pot. So the temperature of the oil won't drop and chicken will fry evenly and crispy. And get crispy. Fry the chicken for 4 minutes and transfer into the sheet pan with a paper towel. The chicken is fried, everything looks beautiful and crispy. I can't wait to try this outstanding general sauce chicken. And honestly speaking, it's very easy to make if you follow all the steps. Now let's make the sauce. Preheat the wok to medium high heat, pour some vegetable oil, 
add garlic and ginger, saute it for about 30 seconds and make sure not to burn the garlic and ginger. Add 2 tablespoons of Chinese rice wine, 3 tablespoons of light soy sauce, half a cup of chicken stock, 3 tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of red chili flakes, 1 teaspoon of white vinegar, 1 tablespoon of hoisin sauce, Mix it. Thicken everything with 1 tablespoon of cornstarch, combined with 1 tablespoon of water. The thickness of the sauce should be like this. Add 6 chilies that are bowl and transfer the chicken in. To make the sauce will take you about 3 to 4 minutes. You just need to combine all the ingredients and thicken it. Just make sure that all ingredients are ready. Sauce the chicken well. Make sure that everything is well combined and every piece of chicken is coated in the sauce. Add some toasted sesame seeds on top and scale it. Transfer general sauce chicken into the plate. Decorate with some more toasted sesame seeds and scallion. This is absolutely delicious general sauce chicken. Much better than any Chinese takeout. And I hope you enjoy.